Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at Microsoft Teams webinars, which will allow us to engage with people in our organization or from outside our organization through a webinar format. We'll be able to create a registration page and send that out in advance of the webinar, collect information that can help us shape the webinar, and then follow up at the end by gathering data about what happened during the webinar. This is a wonderful new feature in Microsoft Teams that expands the size of our audience, how we reach that audience, and how we engage that audience. Let's go have a look at how we can do that on a Mac. The webinar style meeting will allow me to invite people from across my organization and outside of my organization into the webinar and to get some information from them before they actually come to the training. So this is very handy. Notice in a regular meeting, if I go in to meet, I just get the ability to meet with my team now or schedule a meeting for later on. And this would be for people in this particular team. Whether they're guests or organizational members, they have to be a member of the team before I can schedule a meeting with them. But if I go over here to my calendar, and underneath the calendar, when I go to create a new meeting here, I now have the ability to do a webinar or a live event. Now a live event is when I'm just broadcasting out to a large audience and that's great for presenting information. The webinar is a little bit more participatory and more aimed at training or product demonstration where I want some interaction with the audience. So let's go ahead and create a webinar. You'll notice it looks exactly like creating a meeting except I get this dialog box here where I can go in and I can view the registration form. And underneath this registration form, I can create a registration form for participants to fill out prior to coming to the meeting. Now, if I go here, you'll notice I can say the registration is for everyone, just for people in my organization. So I have some options there. So I'll say for everyone, and I'll now go in and create this registration form. The first thing I can do is create some branding. So I'll upload an image, and I just have a little image here that I'm going to use to get people excited about my webinar on hiking. So I'm going to go in and do that. And I'm going to call this uh, Intro to Hiking. Intro to Planning a Hike. And then I'm going to schedule this today from, let's say, from 10.30 p.m. until 11.30. And I'm just doing this now uh, just as a demo. Obviously, you want to give a bit more time before people join your webinar. But it will be very important for me to remember that in this registration form, I'm inviting people for this time. And that's because there's a little bit of a gotcha in Teams. What I'm building right now is the registration form. Then I have to actually build the meeting itself. So obviously you want your registration to invite people to be there at the time the meeting will be scheduled. I can go in and I can create a little bit of information here, planning a hike, and you can format that using the format bar. You have a few different options to make it look pretty. Remember, this is the call to action. This is why somebody should register for this webinar. And if I go in, I can add a speaker to entice people to come to this webinar. Mr. Uh, Mr. Dahlberg is going to be speaking there. And uh, Hank is a hiker. Obviously, again, more information will make it more enticing. What I really like about the webinar meeting is that when you register for the event, you collect the participants' first name, last name, and email, but you can also go in there and collect information like where they're from, their job title. You can even create a custom question, either input, so they can put some input in there, or maybe create a choice. So maybe my question here is going to be, um, how experienced are you with hiking? This is a heavy hike we're going on. So the first option is they're an expert. And maybe the second option is uh, some experience. And then the third option is no experience. Now, of course, you could have as many choices as you want here. And what's nice about this is that we can collect information here. So this will allow us to get this information before the webinar even begins. I'll show you where that is. And then you can tailor the webinar to meet your audience's needs. So I'm going to save the registration form. And notice it's from 10.30 to 11.30. I want to remember that because now I have a look at what the registration form is going to look like. I'll close this. I need to put the same information here. So this is going to be my plan a hike webinar. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a presenter in there and I'll put myself in there. 
So make sure that I'm going to be presenting in there. And we need to make sure this is the critical part, that this matches the time on our invitation. So you want to make sure that's there. And then of course here you can put, you know, whatever you'd like. But the idea is it should be pretty close to what you had on the registration form. So now when I've got this here, I can hit the send button and this now commits it to my schedule and creates the webinar. You'll notice that I get a little bit of a different icon here. I get an icon of someone uh, by a podium. So now I've got this webinar here and if I go in to edit this, I'll be able to see things like you know, what the time it was going to be, the time zone, the meeting options. I can go into my meeting options here. When I do this, you'll see that I can go in and I can determine who can bypass the lobby. I can go in and I can determine who can present. So let's say, for example, anybody in my organization and guests can present, or maybe I have it set up that only I can present, or maybe I have it for specific people, but you need to make sure you add them like I did with the Frank. And then I can determine audio and video settings for my attendees. You can see that I can tailor how the attendees participate in this meeting. I didn't actually make any changes there, so I'll just close that. One of the features that I really like as well is I can go in and I can download the registrations. So what I'm going to do first is grab the registration link. So I've copied that to the clipboard and then I'm going to go out onto a browser here and we'll just paste that link in there and we'll register for this particular webinar. You can see that the form comes up and I'm going to put in a first name. We're going to have Charlie and last name is Brown. And it's going to be Charlie at peanuts.com. And notice they get the question, how experienced are you with hiking? Well, Charlie Brown has no experience with hiking. It's going to register. And now Charlie Brown is going to receive a email saying, congratulations, you've registered for this event. So I've got this information both sent out to Charlie Brown and I've actually captured that information as well. Let me register a few more people and then we'll come right back. Okay, so I've registered a number of people and I'm now going to close the web browser down and I'm going to go back into the meeting details and you'll notice I have a registration download link. When I click on this link here, it will download all of the registrants for this meeting. Let me just make sure I got that. There we go. And you'll see that the file was downloaded. And if I go into my downloads, so we'll go down to my downloads, you'll see that I have this uh, file that's been downloaded and I'm just going to drag that into Microsoft Excel. And when I drag it into Excel, you'll notice this gives me all of the various people that I registered for this webinar, or they've registered themselves. I just gave them the form and they filled it out. And you'll notice here that I can now determine if I have a lot of registrants, you know, what's the level of experience? What do I need to aim this seminar at? Make it a little more complex, a little more simple. If I have a lot of disparity, I have a few experts and a lot of beginners. Maybe I want to direct those experts to a different webinar. There's a lot of ways I can use those preliminary registration questions to really tailor my webinar and really meet the needs of my audience. Not only that, but I can find out when they registered, what time they registered, and I can even go in and compare the folks that registered with the attendance list of who attended the seminar. So that's going to give me some follow-up. Sorry that we missed you or the ability to send them a link to a recording of the webinar or to invite them to another webinar in the future. There's a lot of ways that I can use this data to better create webinars that are efficient and meet the needs of my learners. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe, comment, and most importantly, share this with colleagues that might benefit from this information in your school or in your organization.